Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we have Tropical Storm Gonzalo that has formed in the main development region. And it is expected to become a hurricane by 8 a.m. Thursday. And then the forecast is expected to like hit Trinidad and Tobago and affects parts of the Caribbean. And so this is its line it is expected to hit one of these islands in the Caribbean and then expected to like keep on moving. It could possibly go in the Gulf of Mexico. But yeah, so the arrival time of winds, Trinidad and Tobago will get some. And so as Barbados in the Caribbean and Possibly the Dominican Republic in Haiti. And then here is the wind history so far. It is 50 miles per hour. And it is moving west at 14 miles per hour. And... Um, I do not know how to speak that. I think that's Spanish. I don't know. But, like I said, is it is expected to <clears throat> affect the Caribbean. And, so. And, guys, we also have another invest. So, a tropical wave is producing a large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms over the eastern Gulf of Mexico, central and southern Florida, and western C Cuba. Gradual development of this system is possible when it moves west northwestward, and a tropical depression could form during the next few days. This disturbance is expected to move toward the central Gulf today and reach the northwestern Gulf on Thursday and Friday. An Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft is scheduled to investigate the system later today if necessary. So, for major changes of 48 hours, which is two days, Medium 40%, information here to 5 days, medium 50%. So, I think this system, if it loads, I think this system, the invest right here, will form, but not like, it, I don't predict much from this system because, like, maybe it could become like a strong tropical storm, but um, I don't really predict anything else. I don't predict a hurricane. I only predict a tropical storm. And and with Gonzalo, we will have our first hurricane of the year. And I think they expect a Category 1. So now let's look on tropical tippets. So the pressure of the system is 1,003 millibars. And this is what it looks like on satellite imagery. So this is what it looks like on satellite imagery. Pretty heavy thunderstorms and rain associated with this area. And it is moving pretty quickly. And you guys may saw seen earlier that it is expected to become a hurricane, which I only predict a category one, but some people are predicting a category four. Hmm. Do you guys think that it would become a major hurricane? Because I don't. If it does, then oh well. So this is just one of the spaghetti models that are showing. It basically shows the same path that the National Hurricane Center has um, put out. Here are the second spaghetti model. Here are the second spaghetti models and the pressure. So, yeah, I don't know why it's like that, the zigzag line. But if this probably happens, I don't know how how would that uh, um uh possibly that um but as you can see it is hitting Florida right here but then it uh, it, it makes landfall in Florida again for the second time and then it zigzags back out. Um, so three models predicted hitting Florida, which probably won't happen. One model, two models predicted hitting the Bahamas, 
and the rest of the models either hit it, predict it hitting the Yucatan Peninsula or the Caribbean, which is probably what the storm might hit. And so this is the intensity guidance model. Um, good thing that no model predicts a category three because that would just be like out of their minds because I don't think it will become a category three because, well, I think it's a little too early for that, but like trends are like showing it is perfect for like a hurricane, but I don't know about a major. So, yeah, let's look at the forecast models. First, we we're going to look at the GFS model. So, yeah, the GFS model predicts a 9, 9, 995 millibar storm and then it dissipating in the Caribbean. Then I think that they predict a hurricane as well, and then nothing else happens. So, for another system in the main development region, but then that's it. So now let's look at the CMC model. Oh, and the CMC model predicts Hannah. Or like some tropical depression. Some tropical system. And then it predicts it hitting Texas. Um, let's go back. Here. If it loads. So guys, um, we are looking at the Navgem model. And I can already tell that they are predicting both systems to form. But one into a tropical depression, the other one to a tropical storm. And then we have the icon model. Oh. And now we have the icon model. And so, guys, it the icon model also predicts both of the storms forming, one becoming a tropical storm, and then. Hannah hitting Texas. Yeah, again, hitting Texas. And then another main development region storm forming. So it also predicts two big storms forming off the coast of Africa. Which we could possibly see in the next couple weeks. But anyways guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Like. And comment. And yeah guys. Bye.